Let's do, uh, let's do a find three instead. Match three, sorry. And I'm already running out of matches. Oh boy. Let's go back to finding objects. Yeah, that didn't seem to work to select the, 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 the finding objects. Okay, and somehow I'm back downstairs. Cool. So let's see, can I zoom in on you guys? Yes. I just need to give Mother Goose the magical ink. I think that's the only thing I can zoom in on. Mother Goose. Let's see. Um, hmm. It doesn't seem to let me play around with things at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing on that particular screen. So, uh, I guess I will have to do match three. Ooh, almost got one. Oh no. And then I didn't. Ah. Uh... There we go. Let's make that. Good. That was a good one. That was great. Okay. That cleared a lot off the board, but not where I needed things to be cleared, so that does nothing for me. something there. This will get both of them. Come on. There we go. Only one way. Good. Okay, finally. Whew. That took a while. That gave me a crank. Okay, so that gives me a crank. Obviously for this thing, I guess? I say obviously while I'm guessing. Here's the magic ink. Huh? What's going on? You lied to me, Mother Goose. Explain yourself! No, King Cole. It was your anger and greed that tainted my magical ink. No fairy tale can be penned with wicked ink like this. How dare you! I am the Merry King Cole, and I have always been happy! You... you I'm losing my patience! Bring me magical ink, now! Oh, so apparently he poisoned the ink with his evil! Okay, well, I kind of knew this wouldn't be the end of the game, because I clearly have, uh, other items. Okay. It says we're gonna have to go back. Wasn't there something for cleaning um, back here? I believe there was. So now we have some clean water. Clean water will work here. Hmm, where does the water go? Yeah, there. And we're making some sort of tree mold, which I imagine will go inside the, the wall there. Warm for a while. Oh, better protect my hand. I'd better rethink this one. Okay. Just use the strong glove to get that tree. Beautiful. <laughs> Tree's gonna go here. Give me the Merry Christmas book, which I need for this. Wish you a Merry Christmas. With love, second half. 
Happy birthday. Wait, what? Whose birthday is it now? Okay, well, we've got all sorts of positive emotions now. So, that will save Christmas. Here you go, Mother Goose. Happy birthday, which is Christmas. Maybe it's your birthday. I don't know. Dear friend, I would like you to write for the king. Oh, I'm certain you'll make the right decision. King Cole's dream finally came true. He had all the gold in the world, but he wasn't truly happy. Even all the gold was not enough. Hmm. Suddenly, all his gold turned into piles of black, dull coal. Oh, jeez. He's gonna hate me for this. What are you doing? Stop that! You're ruining my story! And finally, a puzzle. So I imagine this puzzle uh, involves just swapping tiles. Click on two tiles to swap them, I see. Am I trying to make some sort of Merry King Cole Christmas tree? Yeah, I don't know if the Christmas tree is on the right or on the left. Hmm, let's see. If... Yeah, no. I think the Christmas tree is on the left. I just need the top of the tree here. Where is that top of the tree? I don't know. I'm going to skip this. No! What came over me? I, why would I cancel Christmas? It's my favorite holiday, too! Please, <laughs> you must forgive me. My greed overcame me and clouded my judgment. I never meant to hurt anyone for Christmas. I must make this right. I shall organize the largest celebration ever. There shall be food and presents for everyone in the entire fairy tale kingdom. Thank you for saving us all, my dear reader. Now you must return, so you may celebrate the holidays in your world. Farewell, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Mother Goose. Merry Christmas. I think that's it. That, that has to be the end of the game. So thank you very much for watching me play the, the Christmas spirit. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. King Cole is happy. He is friendly to everybody. They all took pictures. May your winter be full of cheer. Thank you for Mother Goose. Oh, there are ending credits. Well, I guess I can talk for another uh, couple of minutes. Game producer, Daniel Cole. Oh, is he old King Cole's uh, brother? Oh, oh uh, <laughs> now I know why old King Cole pra played such a pr prayed. I don't think he prayed very often in this game. I, I don't think he did any praying whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. But um, now we know why he played such a big role in the game. Yeah, this was actually pretty good for a Christmas game. They really kept on key with the Christmas theme. I think you could argue they did more with the Christmas theme than they did with uh, the fairy tale theme. Because there were some people that aren't really like fairy tale nursery rhyme characters, like Nigel. I, I don't know who Polly is. Is Polly supposed to be the little old lady who lived in a shoe and then Nigel is one of her kids? I guess that makes sense. And then there were the bunny rabbits. They were cute though, so I'm not going to complain about the bunny rabbits, even if I don't know what, what fairy tale they're from. Mm -hmm. And then Jack having a bunch of... not horses. Jack had dogs. I didn't know Jack kept dogs. Uh, but we had all the king's men. I don't think we saw much of all the king's horses. I liked Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty was pretty cool at the beginning of the game, but then he got chased away and we never saw him again. We did see like little Humpty Dumpty figurines all over the game. Yeah. They did they did 
they did a good job of, you know, keeping those figurines all over the game. Okay, so this has to be the end ending credits. Okay, so again, thank you very much for watching. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays. Um, thank you very much for watching.